Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Lindy and this is Lindy Yours Life and we're back for another one. Thank you. And it's a hair video. Surprise, surprise. Um, those twists didn't last me as long as I wanted them to and honestly, I just didn't like them anymore after a couple weeks. So, we're doing a different hairstyle. Something I made up in my head, but it should work, okay? So, for the hairstyle, obviously you're gonna need combs. You're gonna need rubber bands um probably a blow dryer and some hair i have clip-ins and i have a half wig i don't know exactly um if i'm going to use both or one but i'm gonna try it we're doing a half up half down but with um with crisscross it might not be crisscross it might just be rows of rubber bands in the front because my hair is a little short right now as you know, it's probably shorter. Once once I post this video, it's probably even shorter than this. But yeah, so we're going to do that. I really just need to take the front out. I don't remember. Oh, okay, period. So the way I braided my hair up to put on the wig in the first place has half of my hair in, open in the front and half not in the back, so. That works out. All right, I'm gonna do like a light blow dry of my hair just to stretch it out a bit. And then we're gonna get into the style. This is what we're working with. All right, y'all, we getting into a voiceover so I can really get into what I'm doing, okay? Cause this was all very much, um, figured out on the spot so I couldn't really like instruct y'all in the moment but anyways as you can see I'm parting now um, I'm parting down the middle I'm using the gummy professionals um, edge control as like my gel because that's just what I had on hand um, but it worked really well so I would say you can definitely use it so yeah I'm parting down the middle I decided that I'm going to do the, the rubber bands in rows and just have them go straight back so that's what I'm doing here just parting it out um, my side rows I decided I wanted them to be a little bigger because I didn't want to be sitting here all day so on the side I did two parts and then I just went up from there so the next row I believe I did three and then once I got up to like the top of my head I was doing like four in a row but they were bigger sections and one thing to remember with this hairstyle is to make sure that where your parts are on one row, they are on the next row. So it's like seamless and not like staggered, if that makes sense. You'll see later on in the video. But yeah, so once I put the rubber band on it, I put a lot of the gel on my the, down the whole shaft of my hair. And then I twist it. And then I twist and gel the back, the back piece. And then as you can see, I'm twisting it together, but I'm also putting a rubber band. So that's a key. You have to twist the one section, twist the second section, twist them together, and then rubber band it. So they're seamlessly looped in together. So this is another example of what I was saying earlier. Make sure you twist that back section and then twist them together and then put that rubber band on it. And this is just me tightening up the section because you want to like see the parts. You want them to be very defined. So that's what I'm doing. But a key thing is make sure there's gel on the whole shaft of your hair. Like your whole head is gonna have gel. As you see, once again, I'm twisting everything together and then going in with that rubber band. Not too tight, but tight enough. Hold me to the right. 
Okay, sometimes you gotta come through that section to get that gel through it. My hair is very, very natural, so yeah. And here is the final. Like I said, make sure them lines align and them sections are equal. So I'm going in with a half wig in the back of my head. I got this half wig a long, long time ago, so I really can't link anything. I really can't link, oh, I can link the clippings I end up using, but I can't link the half wig because I don't remember where it's from. But any half wig, I just happen to have this one that's like more straight hair, but you can use curly hair, whatever you want to do. It don't even have to be half wig. You could use clippings for this whole style, but this is what I had on hand. And then this is me trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So I decided I'm going to do a half up, half down. But you could do a couple of things with this style. So in the half up, half down, this is just me grabbing up all the pieces of hair. And I'm like, yeah, the middle of my head looks good. I can see that. So I end up just rubber banding the piece of hair or the pieces of hair, just rubber band them together. And then I braided that little piece of ponytail of my hair at the top. I braided that up and then I took the clippings and wrapped it, wrapped them around this ponytail. My battery for my camera died, so you're not gonna see that part, but that's essentially what I did. See what I'm doing right here? I braided it up and then I take the clippings that I have and I clipped it to the end of my braid and then just wrapped it up the shaft of my braid and just sealed it, sealed the um, actual end of it with just some more hair. You know when you wrap the hair around that part? Yeah. So now I'm just going in and curling it. I decided to just use just like inch, inch and a half barrel curler nothing too crazy and I wasn't doing tight tight curls I took bigger sections and I just wanted it to be like a like a loose wavy big curly look um, and it turned out exactly like that so yeah that's what I did So some key things to remember when doing this hairstyle, make sure that you are wrapping and covering up, not even, like if you do the half wig like me, make sure you're covering up that side, um, those side pieces like where the wig starts and stops, that's something that like I had to make sure, that's what I'm, why I'm doing these extra curls on the side for. And then make sure you're wrapping the end of the um, ponytail part with some hair to cover up any tracks so yeah y'all this is the look i actually loved it and i'm gonna continue doing stuff like this because wigs are kind of eh these days all right y'all thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and holler at your girl down in the demons comment section let me know how you feel about the look